Next question is from Janky Garage Jim. Can you provide some tips for dips? Oh, dips. <laughs> tips for you know, dips. You know, it's it's funny. When you list the top, when you ask the average lifter to list the top best upper body muscle building uh, exercises, the ones that are the most functional, that build the most muscle, give you the most bang for your buck, for some reason, body weight dips oftentimes doesn't appear in that top lift and or, or list. And I think it's just because they kind of fell out of favor because the reality is uh, body weight dips done properly is easily one of the best exercises you could do for your shoulders, triceps, and even your chest. It's a phenom- mm-hmm. It's like a pull-up. Um, for your back, except this is more. They're for, incredibly is, difficult for a lot of people. They're very difficult, and so you. you I get, mean, just being good. You just you just pointed to the bat, the pull up. Like just being good at pull ups and dips would build an incredible uh, upper absolute, by itself. Yes, absolutely, those two things. If you got really good at pulling your body weight up and dipping really well enough to where you got so good that you can do 15 reps of both those, no problem. So you have to add weight. You have an amazing body, you upper have, body. You have a great upper body, absolutely. Guaranteed. So here's some tips for dips. Now, if you have the strength to do a body weight dip, start at the top, grip the handles really tight, and maintain good tension. Lean slightly forward. Do not drop down below the point you lose control and tension. This is the big mistake I see with people with dips is they challenge the depth mm-hmm. past the point that they have uh, stability or proper stability. So they go all the way down and they tend to relax at the bottom and then press their way up. That's a recipe for shoulder uh, injury. It's mm-hmm. a recipe for uh, for failure. So always have full control throughout the whole thing. Now, if you can't do a body weight dip, which a lot of people can't because it's a, it's a full body weight exercise – one easy way to get better at them is to use a resistance band, put it around the bars, both bars, step on it or put your put knee your on, it, on it, and now you have assistance. And you can do body weight dips with assistance. This is how I train my son when I have him do them. I, I put the band around the two handles. He puts his foot in there, mm-hmm. and then he the band helps him so he can get better at the motion of dips. And then, of course, as he gets stronger, I'll take the band off. So I have to give... Uh Justin, some cool credit here because you know there's we and we don't talk a lot about this on the air, um, but you know when we all got together and and started working together, there there are a handful of things I think each of us probably really learned from the other guys, even with all the experience that we had and maybe we were familiar with certain things, but the other guy was way more into it, and so it really kind of opened your eyes for things. And Justin was like Justin's like hardcore about tension, like he was like the stick mobility thing. You know, those that have been listening for a long time knew the the whole invention thing that he did like and so he was all about like all these tension moves and something that I used to notice when I would do dips cold like if I came in cold and I went over to the dip sometimes my shoulder would bother my shoulder a little bit it bother my elbow a little bit mm-hmm. like um, and it would it feel have this kind of uncomfortable feeling when I did it and something I thought you know what Th- this is an, an area where I bet if I did like a tension exercise before I actually do the perform the movement I could probably gain some more value here. and so what it looked like is this a lot of places, you go to a dip, uh, the dip bar, and the dip bar is elevated. You got to step up to it, and then you get on it, and then you come down in it, and then you drop down into this like new range of motion area, and that's where people either hurt themselves or mm-hmm. their shoulder feels clicky and weird. So instead of that, like I, and I'll either use a bench to slide up, or I'll find one, or I'll, in our case, we can we can manually lower eyes. I want to be able to stand in it. Like I can always bend my knee and do a dip, so I want to be able to stand in it, and then I actually start in the most deep position I want to go. So I actually bend my knees, let let the dip, and I want to I want to position my elbows right where I want them to be. I want my chest and my shoulders right where I want to be. And then I create tension. And I create tension in that position for about five seconds. And then I push out of it from mm-hmm. that that position. Mm-hmm. When I when I started doing that, I completely eliminated all that weird clicking in my shoulder or a little bit of pain that I would feel sometimes of being cold and dropping into the dip. So going into it in the deepest range of motion where I'm supporting myself with my legs, so it's not like I'm putting my body weight there, and then actually creating tension in that position for a good five to 10 seconds and then coming out of it to start, Mm -hmm. man, it made a big difference on my dips. Yeah, that's a great, yeah, that's a great tip. I also think too, like, um, the hand position itself, like I know with some clients of mine, they would feel like an immediate sort of impingement in the shoulder based off of like how narrow or how wide uh, their their hand grip was. Uh, just to kind of manipulating that on your own just initially to uh, feel where you're most comfortable. And a lot of it 
times it, it, it emulates and matches like where you would grab the bar for an overhead press. Um, and so for me, I would experiment with that. Uh, definitely adding the tension is is a panty dropper. I'm going to go ahead and throw that out there again. Uh, that's, it's, it's a big move to, uh, uh, you know, to put you into the right uh, direction and then challenge it too with instability. Yeah. And one other tip, I like this one too, is to, you can practice negatives on dips pretty well. So what you would do is you bring a bench up to the bar, you'd stand in the dip uh, uh, apparatus. So you're kind of already at the top, bend your knees, hold that tension, and then slowly lower yourself until you touch the floor with your feet and then get out, mm -hmm. rest for about five seconds, and then try that again. If you're not strong enough to do a dip, you probably are strong enough to lower yourself with control. And so that's one way to slowly build up your strength. 